ALPS uh, stands for Agile uh, Local Positioning System. ALPS is a distributed system and it consists of a set of nodes or beacons that communicate by a set of links. Nodes can be placed strategically to form a distributed system within which a target can navigate and perform its task. Because this technology applies to wireless systems and does not require prior knowledge of where the nodes are, where the network is, and what it looks like, it is mobile in its entirety, and that is the only system that is designed that way. We foresee ALPS being used in places where GPS either does not exist or is not always available, uh, and it doesn't have to be just uh, application on Earth, it could also be places like Mars. ALPS performs the basic functions that are needed for local positioning systems, which are time and position. Once we have time synchrony, we can determine relative position of the nodes or beacons with respect to each other. Every node has a local oscillator or hardware clock. The clocks operate at a slightly different rate. As a result, they drift apart over time. ALPS can self-synchronize without a need to an external source. It's self-sufficient in terms of achieving time synchrony and maintaining it despite the local drift among the oscillators. Furthermore, ALPS is fault tolerant. If the communication links drop, ALPS can recover that without a retransmission of messages. Another application of ALPS is uh, if we uh, turn it upside down, if you would, and given a set of mobile sensors, in addition to transmitting time and position, we could use it as a passive radar for detecting objects that fly within the view of our beacons. I believe companies who specialize in communications, local positioning systems, and in distributed applications can potentially benefit from our technology. GPS is not necessarily reliably available all the time. So you would need something like this as a complement or alternate to satellite systems. This NASA technology and many others are ready to be transferred to your business. Find out more by visiting technology.nasa.gov.